Hey guys, this is the Israeli Baseball Archives. I'm here today, first ever joint interview with my good friends. Can you tell us your names? I'm Dean Palman. I'm Jake Rosenberg. And how old are you guys, and where are you from? I'm 23. I'm from Weston, Florida. I was born in Hawaii, though. So really? Shout out Hawaii. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. I'm also 23, and I'm from Philadelphia. That's cool. What's your team and like favorite pro baseball players? Well, huge Phillies fan. Of course. And, uh, from Pennsylvania. I don't know. I don't really have a, necessarily a favorite baseball player. I guess, oh, Andrew McCutcheon, because now he's on the Phillies. That's so. right. He just yeah. signed a deal yesterday. Yeah, he's yeah, my favorite player. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I have the uh, troubles of being a Marlins fan. Oof. Well, yeah. The Bills. Tough. Yeah. What do you feel about JT Romito wanting a trade? He's gone. He's gone? Yeah, we finally have an all star. It's like the Florida Marlins curse, Miami Marlins curse. If you get an all star, he's gone. Yeah. Gotta go shine somewhere else. The cheater with that. <laughs> yeah, you really just ruined that team. <laughs> Real so quick. Just, yeah. It took him a year to get rid of every single good player we got. Yeah, trading to stand to the Yankees, too. That's just funny. Yeah, right off the rip. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice for me. Not so nice for the mom. Yeah, it's but, tough to be a Lions fan. Yeah, maybe in a couple of years, but I'll be alright. <laughs> no. <laughs> but what's your relationship with the IV? You guys, players, coaches, umpires, something else, both? So, uh, no, we basically run the Tel Aviv program for Ophir. Ophir's our boss. He like tells us what to do. We just help him run everything. Just coach every day at the sports tech right here. We live pretty close. Mm -hmm. We go on Wednesday nights to the enrichment program, coaching the four teams and six teams, national team. And then we both play. Nice. Yeah. So you guys were both also on the Premier League as well. <laughs> that was we're, all, we're on the same team. We're on Tel Aviv. Yeah, uh, lost in the chip. Yeah, shame. second place is just the first. My team, team the Renata Rams. Yeah, it's a shame. You know what <laughs> All because about. of you. If you were on our team, we would have won. So it was <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, but it was, a, it was a good series. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. So, so you guys yeah. both seem so. like. Oh, wait. First of all, like what? Yeah, since you guys played in Premier League, what position did you play for? Uh, I kind of played every position, honestly. I, was, I mean, yeah. I'm mostly outfield. But I, played, uh, I played a lot of shortstop, which I love. I haven't played shortstop since like, middle school, so yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I definitely loved playing shortstop. That was the most fun. Short and third. Got to pitch a little bit. That was fun, too. It's solid. So you guys both have cannons, essentially. I mean, I had to pitch for the first time in like five years. Mm -hmm. Felt pretty good. My arm's still a little sore. But... Really? Still sore from that pitch? Wow. Yeah. That makes sense. You haven't pitched in a while. Two months later, still sore. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's tough getting back into pitching after a while. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, I'm sure you guys know more about that than I do, but it's cool. So, how did you guys uh, get into baseball? Uh, so I started like I started playing baseball ever since I could start walking. I know my mom used to take me out back, play a little wiffle ball bat and wiffle ball, and just fish me as soon as I could stand up. So that's kind of how I got uh, into baseball. That's sick. Yeah. Well, I think my mom. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, both my parents are Israeli, actually, so I don't really know how I got into baseball. Both of them don't didn't know anything about baseball when I started. <laughs> But uh, no, I kind of played every sport growing up. Loved baseball. So what made uh, baseball stand out out of the other sports? I was way better. Yeah, it was tough to play soccer because I was not Spanish. It was <laughs> tough to play basketball because I was small and white. And yeah, Isn't baseball, that hard to play baseball too? I fit in baseball. <laughs> nah, baseball, I fit in right there. It was good. All right. That's solid. Yeah. That's interesting for you that uh, your mom taught you. Usually, like, people's dads teach them how to play baseball. That's cool that your mom... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my dad, was, yeah, my dad taught me, too. My mom, yeah. I remember, she, or I obviously don't remember, but she always told me that. Ever, ever since I could stand up, she would take me out back. She'd throw a little ball at me. That's awesome. That's so, both guys were sporty from a young age and fell in love with baseball. That's, that's great. So... What's your background with baseball? Like, what are some of your baseball accomplishments? This is basically a time to like brag about yourselves. In baseball. I got this award for sixth grade most improved player. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was that, big, that was a big one for me. That was that was your biggest accomplishment as well. Uh, probably. Uh, I got to play. I was SEC champion at University of Florida. That was pretty wow. Cool. Yeah. They're a powerhouse school. Yeah, I got a nice big diamond ring. That wow. Was, yeah, that was nice. I showed it off. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, just pretend there's a ring there. Yeah, I don't bring it with me. My mom's got it. Shout out my mom. <laughs> nice. That's that's cool. It's amazing, especially yeah. when you win a chip with a big team. Yeah, it was fun. I grew up a big Gator fan. My sister went there when I got there. So oh wow! Like yeah, big Gator family. It's amazing. My brother just started there. 
Oh wow! So you guys just have a lineage. That would be awesome. <laughs> shout out to any all your talents. Shout out to all the talents. Nice. How about you, Jake? What's uh, what's your uh, baseball accomplishments? Baseball accomplishments. I guess sophomore year high school, I was all state. Oh wow! Greatest thing I've done. Seven and then uh, senior of high school, we made it to the state finals. We lost, unfortunately. Ah. But Everyone's still a good accomplishment. And then college, nothing exciting. But, yeah, nothing exciting. Yeah. But did you play college baseball, though? Yeah, so I went to Alvernia my first two years. Okay. Was that D3? Or? Yeah, D3 in nice. Catholic school. I was the only Jew there. <laughs> and then after two years, I had to get out. I went to Ithaca for my last two years. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. You guys both have, like, pretty good baseball accomplishments, too. Were you both, did, you both, did you both go to like Catholic schools as well, or? Uh, no. I just did. My first oh, okay. years was just Catholic school. Yeah. So it was literally just for baseball. There was no other reason I went there. It sucked. I blamed my parents for letting so, me go. But. Was it kind of weird being like the only Jew there? Uh, no. Not really. I mean, at first it was, but then like, I met all my friends, and it was just kind of like. Yeah. And you have to play baseball, too. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't like anything different. So. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Nice. So... What do you guys like about the IAB? A lot. I mean, it's nice to see baseball growing. I wish that baseball was already bigger here. I'm happy that both of us are getting a chance to help improve mm -hmm. the, the whole thing. And uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. There's a lot of good people working on it, a lot of good things happening. It's good things starting. So. And the IAB's nice. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can just tell from like when I first got here to now, like some of the improvement of the players, like they're all out, they're all working. Obviously, baseball might not be their like first love, but they're out there at least trying, mm -hmm. giving it their all, and they're you know they're improving. It's nice to see as as coaches, you know, tell them something, they'll do it, they get better. And it's, yeah, it's just nice to see. Mm -hmm. You guys can really see like the players improve from the ground up. I mean, that's great that you guys are working for a company that can just really bring up these baseball players. Who, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. A lot of them like literally come and want to practice, and it's their first time ever picking up a baseball, even seeing what the game of baseball is. They don't even know what it is. They just are seeing it for the first time. It's cool. Yeah, like, wow. like people in the states like grow up like yeah, my favorite players, Trout, Harper, like someone like that. People over here probably don't even know who they are. Mm -hmm. And they know like Messi, Ronaldo, and that's that's about it. Yeah, and the great thing is like some people here actually do know a little bit, and they can also like pass it down to their new people who don't know baseball, and yeah. it's like a Cool, like, close community. Absolutely. That's how our team expands. One kid brings a friend, and he brings a friend. Yeah, that's how it gets publicized and all that stuff, too. What can be improved about the IV? Um, I guess maybe all the coaches are on the same plan. Mm -hmm. you no, know, like, not, not just like in Tel Aviv, but Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, or not, like all throughout Israel. Mm -hmm. Just on the same plan so that the kids like, can grow in like, similar ways. It's mm -hmm. so, like not one's growing more than the other. They're both. You know, again, the same kind of baseball experience. Do you think that's a bit tough because, you know, like, Tel Aviv and Jerusalem probably have more popular baseball there versus, like, maybe Miskov, and you think it's tough, like, yeah, some, it's, yeah. It's definitely tough because I'm assuming Tel Aviv has, like, the most players mm -hmm. and the most populated city, but, yeah, no, it's definitely, I'm assuming it's tough to get everybody on the same page, especially when they're a couple hours away not talking to each other every day. Yeah. So, yeah, so they're like on like a similar like you know workout plan or baseball plan that would help a lot. I mean, I think. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just asking for opinions. It's all yeah, good. I think so. Nice. How about you, Dean? What do you think? Man, I don't know. I'm not that great of a business mind, but um. It's all right. I don't know. I think that Ophir Katz, who runs <laughs> the Tel Aviv stuff, and he's our boss. He runs everything really well, and everything's super, super organized. We never are uh, wondering what we have to do. We always know. So I think that that kind of organization could help in any company or any organ like anything. So I think if uh, the up higher ups were doing anything that up here does, like mm -hmm. maybe that would help. I don't really know what's going on up there. But. So what example does Ophir set for like the rest of the IV? Like, I mean, just everything from sending us schedules every day, like what we're doing the oh, next wow. day, or even he went the other day and built lights in the batting cage by himself, just wow. like stuff like that. So he's always working hard on making oh. everything better. That's great. He's very dedicated. He's, he's like. a man. Yeah, he's the best. How can we do a better job about making people more interested in Israeli baseball? You kind of mentioned it a little bit, how like, or I think it was actually Eugene, who you say like, oh, maybe a friend brings a friend and then yeah. that starts getting them in, but like, you know, how, how can we do a better job of it? 
Well, one thing we started in Tel Aviv, like I Sunday through Thursday, I go to a different like elementary school, and oh, I have great. like two baseball classes for about forty five minutes each, and it's like introducing kids to like, kind of games. We're not really just running baseball drills and stuff, like making it up a tee, but uh, just stuff that involves them getting to know the game, learn some rules. So like that brings some interest. We try to recruit some kids, get them to come out to the actual baseball practices, and that's been working. We've only got like three so far this year, but that's a good way to spread the word about baseball. Sounds like an incredible program. It's fun. It's been helping me with my Hebrew, for sure. Yeah, so it works both ways. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the level of Hebrew I need to be speaking, like the, the young kids. Yeah, and they, you probably help them with English, too, so. Yeah, they make fun of me after three years <laughs> every single class. <laughs> that's good. You guys have, like, a good relationship yeah, then. it's easier for me to communicate with those kids. Nice. Yeah. How about you, Jake? Um, yeah, I guess, like, having friends bring a friend, just, like, for the younger kids, just make it, you know, as fun as possible. Obviously, they don't really know all the rules of baseball, so if you try to explain it to them, they're going to be like, oh, this isn't very fun. Mm -hmm. So just kind of having it be like a fun atmosphere for them, having a, like a team set bring their friends, and just having them like more interested in baseball like when they get older so that they can learn all the rules and then be like real, real players. Mm -hmm. Based on what you said, if we like, did more fun drills here rather than like, you know, just ground balls not stuff, because baseball can be like a tedious sport, obviously that needs to happen as well, but... If we do like more fun drills as well, do you think that would get more players in? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know sometimes like, with the younger kids, like the juvies, are like 11 or 12 years old, we play like a, it's like a kickball game with baseball rules. Oh, great. So okay. I say it incorporates all of, like, the baseball rules, except it's more fun because you know, they, they would rather kick a ball, I guess, than hit it. And yeah. then there's another game we play, it's like a soccer game, but you have to roll it instead of kick it, so you work on ground balls and stuff. Mm -hmm. so it's like little things you can incorporate in the game, just make it look a little more fun. Yeah. Get outside that, like, just baseball scope. Oh, yeah. exactly. It's good. All right, so this is, like, last, like, umbrella question, main question. Do you think there's, like, more widespread information about pro baseball, like, from the states? If, like, there's, like, more pro the stats of, like, the Yankees and other teams in the majors in Israel, like, in Israeli newspapers, do you think more people would be interested? I definitely think if like ESPN top ten plays were on TV every morning for kids and they were like seeing diving plays and diving catches and like walk off bombs and stuff, it would bring more excitement. I'm sure half the most of the people in Israel, the majority, don't even know what any of that means. Mm -hmm. But um, I definitely think that them not seeing it, being able to know about baseball, hurts Israel here. It hurts the baseball in Israel. Mm -hmm. Cause I remember when I was younger, the first thing I wanted to do was. Put on the top ten plays, yeah. watch nice like diving catches, Rob home runs, anything. Just so you actually be able to see baseball on TV, and they don't, they don't have that. Mm -hmm. And that was, I think, all part of all of our childhoods. Mm -hmm. I mean, exactly. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you want to grow up, and you want to do something like that here to watch the soccer or basketball. So it's not like baseball is not really an option. Or it's like the third or fourth option. Mm -hmm. I've also heard from like a different a couple other interviewees that if a lot of uh, the accomplishments of Israeli people baseball or put in newspapers, do you think that would help as well? Yeah, Spread the word. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know that for the World Baseball Classic, mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of put Israel on the map for baseball, but because you know, a lot of the team wasn't, like, there weren't Israelis, gotcha. like, the Israelis here were kind of just like, wow, we root for a team that's mm -hmm. all-American. Yeah. A lot of Israelis, like, people on me, and I'll tell them that I like playing baseball here, they'll be like, what's baseball? And they'll be like, there's baseball in Israel. Yeah. So, they definitely have not seen any of that information or, like, that. So mm -hmm. I yeah, definitely yeah. think if they were sharing that information and saw it, then they would understand a little more. Maybe. Yeah, like if you're carrying a baseball bat down the street, it's like a weapon. Like people are looking at you and like, what is that? Like, yeah. Like people have machine guns walking down the street. It's like, <laughs> no, it's nothing. Yeah, they're throwing the baseball yeah, exactly. bat over the machine. The baseball bat. Like, oh. Yeah, that's dangerous <laughs> compared. To, yeah, but if there's like more girls going to like Czech Republic and all that stuff, that was posted in like the local newspaper. Do you think that would help? Rather than, like, even maybe more so than WBC posted. Can't hurt. Yeah. I mean, it definitely can't hurt. I mean, yeah. What is it, like, no, any publicity is good publicity? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All media is good media. Well, all it's worth, media is yeah, good It's media. worth a shot. I mean, any, I, honestly, anything can help. Yeah. All right, well, that was my last question. Thank you for your time, uh, Jake and Dean. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. You guys can uh, press the red button there. Don't worry, right? I love you, Amanaba. <laughs>